Hey Leo, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is the Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's have a look at who's coming towards you in love. So Leo, you are starting the week <coughs> with the overall energy of... Ooh! Damn! Damn of cups, Leo! What is going on? You have a happily ever after. You have a fatal ending. Something or someone's gonna make you so happy. Ten of Cups. This could be happy times with family also for some of you. Ten of Cups. Could be engagement. Could be Ten of Cups, please. Mmm. Someone who's been holding back all this while is finally going to make you an offer. Boom! Out of nowhere. Leo, you're not expecting this. This is what is going to be the title. You are not expecting this. This is someone, but you need to be careful about something. The kind of person that you're dealing with, Leo, is very immature, very kiddish in their approaches towards love okay so this could be a new person or this could be an old person if you're resonating with the kind of description i'm giving you this could be a person younger to you in age could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio all this doesn't have to be just a little description but very kiddish okay so they hold back a lot even that they, they they love you so much you know they, they tend to get obsessed with you you know and uh, they, they, they love the idea of love they tend to idealize situations or something like that okay but this is the kind of person who's coming in towards you okay uh, the offer is going to come in boom out of nowhere out of nowhere guys you are not expecting this there are chances you may refuse this person's offer is also what i'm getting okay for some of you, you may just ignore it what happened in the past so you did cut someone off Yeah, a lot of you could have cut someone off or could have and mo could have moved towards new love, okay? Uh, and uh, that new love could be something or someone that gave that was very, very stable. For the others of you, there was a lot at stake in the past, okay? And that was the final decision that you made, okay? That was the final decision that was made in the past. And I feel that decision was to move out from a connection where you probably wanted commitment, all right? And um, this person probably was indecisive. <coughs> but I feel you cut this person off and move towards new love. Okay. For the others of you, there was an opportunity here of um, <clears throat> a renewal of a love. But you still chose to walk away. Okay. I don't think you gave this person a chance in the past. Now, in the current situation, we have the four of wands with the five of wands. You guys are at, you guys are very, very confused because I feel, oh my God, Leo, a lot of you guys are getting married, okay? If you guys are not getting married, not getting engaged, not into a long-term commitment, then people who are already in a marriage, things are getting back together because I feel a lot of you could be, you know, uh, in separation with your spouse or whatever it is, but it's like a lot of fights right now. What's the four of wands? I feel there's stability coming in, guys. There's stability coming in. What's the four of wands? I feel there's a missed opportunity here. Although, for some of you, there could be, a, like I said, a marriage proposal coming in, okay? Or there are a lot of people, potential people coming in that you meet, okay? But you guys are very guarded. Because I feel some of you are still not being able to heal from the past connection, okay? And there's a lack of investment from your side. That's one thing I'm getting here. I feel some of you, you know, are procrastinating about this offer. I think you guys are too isolated. So there is a potential here where you could meet someone new, okay, through socializing, you know, through contacts, through friends. But I feel you guys are too isolated, you guys are too lonely. You know, there's anti-social behavior that I'm seeing right now. Maybe you don't want to invest into something that is, good, you know, where you feel it's going to be a waste of time. So you're thinking a lot, procrastinating a lot about this offer that's coming in or about this, you know, 
uh, opportunity that's coming in okay there is something that you will have to celebrate about you will get something to celebrate about something that you'll be happy about but you're not ready to invest into it okay it could be or for some of you it could be a missed opportunity here because like i said you guys are in two minds why is the five of wands here You know, uh, you guys are conflicted. <clears throat> Maybe the reason you don't want to move ahead with this opportunity is because you could be dealing with someone who's emotionally very unavailable. Okay. And uh, you may just want to turn your back towards the situation and keep moving forward. Okay. I'm getting that for a lot of you. You don't want to invest into this person. You could be dealing with an air sign, a water sign. You know... So I'm also getting that you may not have clarity, okay, because this person that you're dealing with is emotionally very shut off, they don't open up, you know, uh, they could be someone very manipulative, but I feel overall there's trust issues, you don't trust this person, okay, who's coming towards you with this, this could be a new person, okay, is what I'm getting, because there's so much of guardedness from your side, Leo, you're very guarded, you know, you don't trust this person, this person could be immature also is what I'm getting, okay. That's what I got, right? In the past, you could have moved towards new love, which led to commitment or which led to something stable. And there was a final decision here that was made. For some of you, there was a renewal in a decision. Okay, renewal in love after communication is also what I'm getting. But right now, <clears throat> the reason there is conflict is because although you may want to take things forward, okay, or this person may want to take things to the next level out here, someone out here, okay, is emotionally imbalanced, okay, someone out here is coming up as very overly emotional, overly sensitive, and this could be you, okay, which is why you're still not ready for this, okay, I feel you are probably just pulling away too much, so what happens when you're in the hermit, right, uh, yes, you do go within, okay, there's a lot of introspection, but then you kind of uh, don't know when to pull back, okay, and then slowly you kind of start to get disconnected from reality, okay, and then you have like no idea about what's going on, so that's what's happening, you know, you try start to live in your dream world, in your own assumptions, etc. out here, you know, and then you just start to disconnect from what the real world is going on or what the reality is, which is what's happening out here. The potential is there, but you're just emotionally imbalanced, okay? You need to master your emotions or the person that you're dealing with. Someone out here needs to be very balanced. Someone out here needs to know balance their head and their heart. Okay. One of you, you or the person out here could be needing, uh, going to get counseling or will could be needing counseling. You know, um, I'm also getting the influence as the conflict out here could be like you just are not sure of whether should you move, uh, should you explore this opportunity and move forward or should you wait around for the past person. And some of you, maybe even you're not even past, waiting for the past person, but you're just too still hurt by whatever happened in the past and you have you have a lot of trust issues okay moving forward a lot of trust issues i think some of you don't even want to be in a relationship right now you're just better off being alone you know and now it's like for anyone to give you a chance it's still going it's going to be really tough you know see this what's this of cups Now, what's happening here is what's crowning the situation is that there is someone out here who wants a renewal in love okay this is the same person out here who you've had a disconnection with and there is going to be communication or there is going to be an opportunity here but this person out here wants to move forward with you okay and they want to move forward with you wanting a brand new beginning in love okay they i mean you guys are still clearly not in talking terms is what i'm getting and they want to grab this opportunity okay they want there's a big change okay that this person wants to make towards you after whatever loss happened between you both and like i said there is an opportunity here of reviving a connection okay and starting from scratch with love now what the situation is that there is no decision being made you are closed off is what i'm getting okay for the two of swords
like i said someone out here wants to come back around okay and you are there on your way wanting to move away from this person that's the situation this person out here who disconnected from you who left you out in the cold is very cold dependent and they're wanting to come back around the problem here is that i feel that you are kind of you know somewhere somehow subconsciously you're getting into that confident state of mind where you know what i don't want to give this a chance you're on your way out of this connection okay on your way out of this connection you haven't still completely completely left the connection okay you're on your way out of the connection out here but i feel that uh, you still haven't made a choice okay it's like you're refusing to see the reality of the situation the reality could be that this person genuinely wants something with you okay but you still don't want to confront the issue and for others of you you may just genuinely know that it's just not working out and you need to make a choice so you can start fresh but that's something that's not happening lot of resistance to make a decision there could be an offer coming in you know from the earth sign so this person out here even though they want to make an offer i don't think they're going to be verbal verbal about it they are silently committed to you and they're coming back that's what the situation is they're coming back but you are going to be closed off like i said in the future we have the three of wands so let's see what's the three of wands something that your ships are coming in there is a potential in the future where something's going to make you very very happy 10 of cups 10 of cups see that's what i'm saying this person out here is going to come out out of nowhere but there is going to be a lot of arguments and fights when this person comes back okay although this person here will want to take things forward take things to the next level with you could be new could be old take it out resonates but you are going to sabotage it for sure okay only because there's going to be fights for some of you you haven't still forgotten what this person has done to you for the others of you you're just not sure if you want to give this person a chance see two of swords out here there's so much of mental energy out here where constantly you're thinking and overthinking over analyzing which is screwing up this potential okay but i do feel there could be the chances are of someone out here who i'm not going to say old or new that much because a lot of people are like um <clears throat> never mind so whoever's coming towards you in the future wants to take things to the next le next level with you and it is a situation that's going to make you very happy like i said 10 of cups is the card of marriage commitment right taking um, emotional bliss you know it's a 100% emotional contentment so you will have that and this is something you waited for or this is something you've manifested indirectly but it's going to be like some kind of power struggle is what i'm getting you know one person out here may sabotage the connection okay only because they're not sure about what to do about this which is what i'm getting out here right you may didn't i say that in the beginning you may refuse this person's offer because they're coming in out of nowhere this is this is someone who you just never expected to come towards you okay love messages for leo from the person you have taught me to get over my inner issues with us there is no end if you are not in the state of self love i cannot like close of you coming new moon the energies are good and you will succeed with the growing phases of the moon okay leah think of an uh, think of a question and i'm going to ask the angels to answer it for you please answer the question that leah has in mind peaceful resolution 
that's the answer to your question peaceful resolution have a peaceful resolution okay don't sabotage things don't fight for things unnecessarily don't create unnecessary drama don't create unnecessary conflicts okay only because you want to guard yourself only because you want to protect yourself if this is a new person coming towards you you'll screw up the potential if this is an old person coming towards you they regret and they're learning their mistakes they're learning their lessons so either ways okay you just find a balance okay don't take it to extremes so that's what i have for you leo hope this reading resonates and do like like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye